Leaving the corpses for Cain to raise as his vampire sons a millennium from now. was my brother Turel, who along with Duma would bear me into the abyss without questioning Cain's command. So dutiful and righteous, even as a vampire. I guess some habits die hard. The vampire Turel had eluded my vengeance. The Saraphan Turel would not. for me. You'll find I'm not such easy prey. I don't want to kill you, but I will if I must. Return the heart to me and we can end this now. So, you've come to avenge that filthy parasite and reclaim his foul heart. You're a righteous fiend, aren't you? Apparently I am. No, vampire. This is where it ends. But you won't be leaving this room. Now, let's finish this. I'll make it mercifully quick. As you did for Janos? <laughs> no, that beast had eluded us for far too long. It would have been a shame to end him too quickly. It's ironic, really. The great Janos Ordrin turned out to be no challenge at all. Thanks to you. Did you hear his cowardly screams when I tore that black heart out of his carcass?
And so it ends. My history comes full circle. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me, and instead wound lovingly around its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized, finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul-stealing weapon. The ravenous, soul-devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had been, me. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. To play out this purgatorial cycle for all eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. You! weakening, unable to hold on any longer. The Reaver was too strong, the compulsion to simply let go, too great. And then, a growing sense of vertigo and the familiar displacement, the paradoxical moment when my twin soul hovered both outside and inside the Reaver blade. This was the instant. The glimmer of temporal distortion Cain had been counting on all along. This was the edge of the coin. The minute flicker of probability upon which Cain had gambled everything. Now you are free to reclaim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far this time. That by trying to alter my fate, he may have introduced a fatal paradox. My God! The Hilden! We walked right into their trap. Raziel, Janos must stay dead. But Cain's warning was lost as I slipped into the spirit realm, too weak to maintain my physical form. And there, waiting for me as always, was the Reaver, the Wraith Blade, my own soul, twinned and bound eternally to me. And I realized that I could never escape my terrible destiny. I had merely postponed it. History abhors a paradox.